In this video, we're going to talk about what's new in Adobe Captivate 9. Yes, I said Captivate 9. So I've got a basic course open here, and we're going to speak a little bit about one or two features. I'm going to do a series of these videos, and it'll give you an opportunity to see what's new right away as soon as you have access to Captivate 9. So I've got Captivate 9 running right now. I've got a very simple one slide here and we're going to first of all talk about round tripping with Audition. Now in the past I always had trouble with this with Captivate 8 and I believe I had the same problem with Captivate 7. Unless I had the most lined up version um, it just didn't work for me. So I've recorded some background audio here and I'm just going to right click on that and find it in the library and that's not working find in library there it is and so I'm just going to double click on that and that brings me up the audio properties window and if I click on edit this brings me into the edit audio now as I've shown you in other videos that I've done in the past uh, edit audio does allow you to do certain things so you can actually insert some silence and you can cut some elements out and paste them and so on but to do something more advanced like if you wanted to use the noise reduction feature in uh, Audition you would want to be able to click o Adobe Audition so let's try that right now and see how that works here and sure enough it loads it into Adobe Audition I'm not using the latest version which is good news uh, the latest version for uh, that coincides with the release of Captivate 9 is CC 2015 but I'm using uh, Audition 5.5 and it's fine for me so I'm going to select some audio here and we're just going to go into effects and we're going to do noise reduction and we'll just do a noise print, we'll capture noise print I'm going to select all and apply the noise reduction to my whole recording. All I have to do at this point is uh, save and close audition and then I get this button or this window here that says edit and save audio and audition so I've done that. Click OK in this dialog to import the changes so I'm going to click OK and it imports the updated audio and right off the bat I can see clearly by the nice smooth waveform at the front that it was successful in importing the noise reduction that I applied to that audio file. So this is like I said the first of, uh, of several uh, videos that I'm going to do on Adobe Captivate 9. So look forward to those. I'll probably organize them on my channel as a uh, as an individual um, group of videos for you to watch and I uh, hope, hope you enjoy these. If you want to subscribe to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you like the videos that I'm producing for you go ahead and give me a thumbs up.